Hi everybody, this is Cesar Yanez and I'm bringing you the CY Show. Today's episode is called Save the Sale. So let's get to it. So sellers whose properties are not in tip-top shape may need to spend some extra money or put in a little elbow grease to get their properties in market-ready condition. So today I'm going to share with you three repairs that you can do to save the sale. Let's talk about flooring flaws. There's a lot of buyers that don't want to go through the hassle of replacing carpet when they buy a house and they might not even want a credit to cover that cost. So a tip for you is if you're a homeowner, you're going to want to replace carpet or fix the flooring because on average, you're going to spend $3,000 to put in hardwood floors. And the thing is, you're going to recoup 100% of that money because if you put hardwood floors on your house, it's going to, it's going to increase the value of your home for a few thousand. So if your flooring has any flaws, make sure you fix that to save the sale. Now let's talk about water stains. Leftover water stains on the ceilings from an old plumbing problem might mislead buyers into thinking the problem still exists. So you need to fix that. On average, water stained ceilings can cost up to $670 and drywall cost $1.50 per square foot to repair. So if you want to save the sale, make sure you fix that. Lastly, let's talk about the grout. Yellow or cracked grout can be such a turnoff to buyers. So if you want to save the sale, you got to retouch the grouting. You can have old flooring, but if you retouch the grout, they can be revived. Bathroom regrouting on average can cost one to $2 per square foot, and you should increase that to $10 for more complex jobs. Save the sale, man. And that was it for today. I hope those three repair tips help you save the sale. So I hope you like the content. If you like it again, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.